Hi guys, welcome to this SSD where we built Carly and ALCI, Arch Linux Calamars installer. And that's what this video is about. Things always change, right? It's it's the way life is. Don't think everything is frozen in time. Luckily, maybe, but also, unfortunately, things always change. And uh, this will be the last, uh, well, we always put in here a procedure and we have always last build and install video that's the last one but here is all the rest right so every time things change and uh, i explain lots of things so here is actually a playlist one of nine at this point in time and um i'm gonna make so a new build another another installation video because things have changed a little bit and all you what you require as usual is knowledge and that's exactly what we do. We share knowledge. So on the GitHub, there are th three things to do or to choose. Either you go for an all an Arch Linux pure installation, you end up in a black screen with no Xorg, no XFC, no desktop, no SDDM, no LightDM, nothing, right? Pure sense of Arch Linux, but with a graphical install, that's the point always. With Calamares there, click, 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 six screens later, you've got a operating system. Then it's up to you, entirely up to you, what you do. So a few screens and you are at the end with, um, well, a system operating system that just works. So that's the black thing, right? Let's, let's call it like uh, it is the Arch Linux, the purest form of it. But of course, if you are building an ISO, you might consider already to put something on there. You might consider to add Xorg on it. You might consider to put LightDM on it or GDM because you want to install GNOME and stuff like that. So these are the dev one is actually the one where you end up with something graphical. So hence the picture here, you end up with something that you can click on and see a beautiful wallpaper there. And here again, you have nothing. But this one, the, the difference between the left one and the right one is here in the ALCI ISO, we do not tell Calamares to really get rid of everything. Here we do. Here we say, get rid of Xorg. We don't want desktop. We want, don't want anything. So we install, we uninstall a lot afterwards. So Calamares can install elements, but also can uninstall elements. So here we have a really pure Arch system. And here we keep some of the elements. You can see that in the package list. So most of the time, since we end up in something graphical, I use the ALCI ISO dev to test it out because everything is set already. Everything in the sense that we have Xorg, we have LightDM, or I think SDDM, we have XFC and stuff like that. So this is the line I'm gonna copy, but you choose, right? That's the point, you choose. I'm going to show you what changed. Um, open terminal, control shift V. It's extra. It's a video to, to tell you two lines, basically. So if you don't want to change anything, which is as, as possible, right? You just run number 40 or 30, depending on the bandwidth you want to reuse or use, because this one 30 will clean out your cache and this one will reuse your cache. So if there are no issues, if all packages are okay and not corrupted by any chance, then 40 is great, right? So don't have to wait a lot because everything is already downloaded and he's already installing the system. Now, <coughs> the point of this project is to put Calamaris on Arch Linux. Boom, that's it. That's the basic element, that's basic theme. I want a graphical install for Arch Linux. I am tired of typing all these commands. I want to use Calamars, click, 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 six screens later. But there is flexibility, right? In Arch ISO, you can change the pacman.conf. It can add the packages. What packages do you want on your ISO? And this is just all this whole bunch, which ends here is all coming from Arch Linux. This is the Relang folder from Arch ISO. And then it's up to you. Arch Linux is a great vast field of Lego 
pieces and you decide to put a Lego piece on your machine, Firefox, Vivaldi, Google Chrome, anything like that. And this is our way to install everything. We need to have a DWM, that's what we've created, a proper DWM from us called ALCI and the Calamaris and the configuration for Calamaris and there are a few different choices. This is the choice to have BTRFS to tell Calamaris immediately go for BTRF, BTRFS or ButterFS and um, not X4. And these are all choices, right? Do you want, do you want, do you want? And we've made these choices for you. But again, if you don't want Xorg server, it's just a hashtag in front of it. It's not on the ISO. You won't see anything graphical, of course. And it keeps on going. And it's this thing is why basically I'm making the video. We used to have VirtualBox support out of the kernel. And we had this great, in my case, 1920 on 1080 screen, which is my full resolution, right? Now, <clears throat> we have had to put this particular package on the ISO to have, again, support for a full screen. But we used to have, right? <laughs> Everything changes in life. We used to have that support straight out of the kernel. And that's how we respond, right? We adapt. Changes, we adapt. There's no way we can change and do anything else but adapt. How about, okay, it's still building, fine. So we can add XFCE, but if you just do a quick Google and you say, wouldn't it be nice if I would have Mate already on my system, on my ISO of ALCI, you go and have a look and you see Mate, Mate Extra, that's all you need to look, scroll for the installation. And if I type, type this, not uh, behind each other, so not here. Don't do that, that's not possible, right? Do not do. One line each. And then I have a XFC4 system with Mate. And it keeps on going, of course, we have 21 desktops at this point in Articlinux. Choose one of them or choose one that we don't have because there are more, still more <laughs> to develop, which is fun, right? Okay. Um, how's about timing? He's finished. So the only thing I'm making this video, nothing, not much has changed, but virtual box thing, super F7. This is ALCI dev. Gonna mount this particular thing here. ALCI out, another one. ALCI dev out, development. One from today, open start and I've chosen to have an UEFI and I boot up so you can say maybe I can quickly show you that while it's booting up you can say here in settings in system to mimic because it's always fake right this is a virtual box it it is a, a sandbox where you put in a operating system it's gonna fake having a motherboard and fake having a USB and so on and so on. So this enable EFI is what I've chosen. And this is our problem, right? So this is a very minimal um, CD-ROM of DVD or USB, right? It's very minimal. It just wants to have Calamars and Arch Linux. Now I don't want to put anything more on here because of its uh, original um, layout or original choices of packages. If you do the same on a real metal, which is the point of any operating system to be installed on real metal, you'll use, of course, your complete screen. In this case, if you want to have a bigger screen, since the package of VirtualBox is there, Ctrl Alt T or a Super T is going to give a terminal and let's let me kill with one with super q and that's an a because i'm still in qwerty and azerty you know my problem always all you need to know is this sudo system yep let's put it in azerty right this is azerty for me sudo system ctl 
enable the VBOX service. That's all you need to remember. It's not enabled and I don't want to put it on the ISO. And it's, if it's enabled, doesn't mean it's started. So you start it. That's it. You have your full screen. Control F, and there you go. I can kill this one again, and we're off to go. And that's that's the only thing I wanted to share in the video. The rest is just click, 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 right? And um, the knowledge there. Enable the VBOX service if it's not uh, enabled by default by a kernel. So this applies, of course, to all Linux distributions, not just the ones we're using. Oops. All right. And off it goes. I'm going to pause the video here, so we'll see where we end up in XFC, of course. Back in a bit. And then we continue. Restart now. Done. It's to test in virtual box, but just to get it right, right? And then, okay, go to real metal. So SDDM is greeting with its standard greeter here. And we get again this strange, very small virtual box. What we could do, which I want to show you as well, is have a look at the settings manager here or the display here and see if we can set it this way. But I have 1920 and 1080 and as you see, it just isn't there. If I'm not mistaken, I don't see it. We have something like this. So I would just have to choose something smaller which is okay, right? We have already something that's better. But again, this machine doesn't have any clue where he is. So the only one who can tell the system where he is, is the VBOX service. So I'm gonna add a link, created sim link in ETC system D system multi-user target ones, VBOX service, which is pointing to the user lib system D system D. So, that's it. I'm making an LN minus S, a link, a symbolic link to a very well protected part of my system, user lib system D system. But it's not started. Arrow up, don't like to type much. <laughs> Enable, start, space, yup, boom. And again. Now, next time, so the reboot as R will not work, we don't have the alias here. Next time around, of course, the link is there. The symbolic link is created by enabling it, the service. And that applies for anything, right? For cups, for network, for, for you name it. It's, it's um, a general thing to enable a service or a socket or things like that. So immediately I have a full screen, thanks to the fact that, well, the link is there, the symbolic link is there. This is, however, not normal. Control F. Control F again, voila, that's normal again. This is still very much not the real thing. So over time, the last three, four years, we've seen all kinds of things in VirtualBox <laughs> because yeah, new additions, new changes, updates, and then, huh, why is it not working? What didn't it used to be like that? And then we start doubting ourselves. Oh yeah, things have changed. Will always happen, but the, mo the main thing is that the video is guys, remember to enable services all right to enable start enable start that's all you need to know all right cheers